This is the Wayne Ayers Podcast. The Wayne Ayers Podcast. Woohoo! Time to wake your ass up for a blessed day. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. How'd you enjoy your Fourth of July? It was really fun. It was That's chill, good. actually. That's I didn't do anything too crazy. That's good. That's good. Um, congratulations. You're on a new show again. Comes out tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> How was the um, experience on the Challenge USA? Because looks everything looks crazy. All the competitions you guys were doing. It was insane. It's obviously a lot different than Love Island. Um, it's not a dating show, so that's what I... I'm so sorry. Do you hear the sirens? No. Oh, good. Okay. Uh, um, so the challenge is obviously a lot different than um, Love Island, and that's what I really loved because I didn't want to do another dating show. It was really fun to push my body, push my mind. Um, I did things that I just never thought that I would do. It's crazy. What was like the hardest challenge you had to do on a show? You're going to have to tune in to see. <laughs> But for me, it's like really anything with swimming because I'm not a swimmer. Um, I just learned kind of like a little bit how to swim before the show. Um, and then just getting thrown into a large body of water, I was like, respectfully, bye. <laughs> was, it, <laughs> no, was there like anything like certain you had to like, like, was there like certain requirements you had to make before you had to enter the show? I mean, I would say like working out, but I pretty okay. much have a consistent workout schedule I always have. So for me, it was just like amping that up a little bit and then um, learning how to swim. That's dope. I know like the show has like Survivor um, cast, Big Brother cast, the Amazing Race cast. Is there any like buddy that you're like excited to meet from like certainly from those casts? So I literally never watched Survivor or Amazing Race or Big Brother. Um, so for me, like when I met everyone, I was just meeting them as normal people. You know, it's like, I didn't see any of them on TV. Um, so I thought, I mean, I've heard of some of them. Like I heard of Tyson because he's a legend. I heard of Sarah cause she's a tank. Um, but for me, I was just meeting people as they are. Were you excited to meet like other, uh, former castmates of Love Island? Did you? So I met them already. I've met them all. Oh, you so, already met them all? Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. It, was, it was fun to see them again and work with them and have like um, like faces that I knew. So I thought that was really fun. Um, but yeah, I met them already. So it was awesome. Was it? I know like because this show, because it's like 500,000 on stake. I felt like there was like a lot of backstabbing. Was there like anybody on the show that like really pissed you off? I think there's a few different people that kind of like rubbed me the wrong way at certain times, but that's just normal when you are on a competition show. Um, every week is a different week and a different um, obstacle, I would say. But for the most part, like, you know, it was just show stuff. You know, I feel like it's normal. What should like, like your fans expect from you from like this show? Like what, what do you, is there any, is there going to be anything that surprises them about you? I think all? so. I think Love Island, I, I went on the show and I was just in the best place I've ever been. I was healed. I was a bad bitch. I was just doing my thing. You know, on the challenge, they're going to just see like a different version of me. Like I just got out of a breakup. I was heartbroken, healing, living with my ex. Um, I couldn't swim. Like I was, I was still me, but it's just like a different version of me. Like it's kind of like a more, even though I was, you know, sensitive in some parts of Love Island, but it's just like a more, I guess, I don't even know what kind of version of me I can say, but it was just, it's very different. They're just going to see a different side of me, I think. I know like shows like this, I feel like you come out like a better person and you come out like try to be just knowing something new or like learning something new about yourself. Was there any like, like have you learned anything new about yourself since like doing the show? It's weird because when I first got off the show, I just regretted doing it like that. I was just like, I just shouldn't have done that. Like I was like, I should have just waited a year, healed more, not have done it with my ex-boyfriend. You know, like I, that's what I was thinking. And that's what I was pretty much have been thinking. But I don't know, recently I was just kind of like, I don't regret doing the show. I think for me, it was an experience. I did do crazy things that I would never do. Um, 
I don't know. I think I have to process more and, and, and really think about it more before. I, I have a lot of mixed feelings still about like the show. Um, but I don't regret it. So that's new. That's, 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 that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so you enjoy, do, which one do you enjoy more? Shooting Love Island or doing this show? Probably most likely You're Love just Island. Very different. I don't really think you can. You can't even compare. compare. It was very different shows. Yeah. So what was like the average day life like on set? Like what did what did you guys have to do like every day? I can't I don't really know what I can say because you oh. guys just <laughs> tune in. But yeah, you'll you'll see. That's all okay. I can say. You'll see. <laughs> Oh, speaking of Love Island, I know you just mentioned it. You had a, uh, you were on the show with your ex. Yeah. Um, are you guys like cool after the experience or are you guys like, no? No, we're not so, cool. We okay, are not but, friends. Not I'm, cool. I'm, 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 I'm just asking. I don't know. No, you're, you're good. I'm just it. like, that's not what it is. No, we're not, <laughs> we're not friends. I don't know. Maybe like, you know, sometimes bringing people back together, sometimes it does. I was just acting. Yeah, in the movies, it's like that. <laughs> but no, we are not. Friends. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like you're a very positive person, like just online, everything. And I know, like being public figure, you kind of you get all these different people coming at you and everything. Like, how does it feel? Like, how do you still remain positive? Because I know me, I'll probably be clapping back at people. Just you know what I'm saying? Like, not yeah, everybody could get it. Wrong. I I clap back. Don't get me like I'm positive, but I'll clap back. I love yeah. getting myself, like putting people in their place, but. For me, I always say like, it's a good day to have a good day. And like getting deeper into that, it's like you choose, you can choose whether you have a good day or not. You know what I mean? Having a good day is almost a decision. And I know some people don't understand when I say that, but I'm a normal person with normal feelings and normal emotions. I have bad days, I have good days, I have depressive days. But at the end of that day, I still look for, okay, how can I, how did I make this day positive? In the beginning of the day, I'm like, even though I feel so bad right now, what can I do that can make this day a little bit better? And I think that's just how I remain the kind of person that I am and how I can kind of try to turn a situation into a positive. Um, yeah, I guess that's my secret sauce, but I don't know. <laughs> no, that's good. Cause I know me, I'd be, I'd probably be petty most of the time. Like you, like you clap back, but I feel like you're like mostly just pot. I'd just be petty. Like, all right, everybody can get the business. Yeah, no, I get you. <laughs> I clap back or like, I'll say what I need to say. And I'm like, but respectfully, like, yeah, you can have your opinion, but get out of my inbox with all that. Like, I just, it's just not the vibe. So we like to keep it positive over here. No, that's, that's really good to hear. I know uh, this is like your second reality TV show under about, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, like, is there any, like, if you could be, like, on another reality TV show, which TV show would you want to be on? I don't want to do reality TV after this. And I know I said that after Love Island, but I really, really mean it this time. Like, I just don't want to do any more reality TV. Like, I'm an actor. I went to school. I went to an amazing conservatory for acting, and that's always been my passion. And doing reality TV makes it really hard to be taken seriously as an actor. And, like, it's crazy now, like, when you go on a reality show or two reality shows, you're considered like a reality star. You know, you're considered a reality person, a reality um, persona. And like, that's just, I'm really trying to break away from that. So I think like after this show, I'm really gonna like try to break away from like, new management, new agencies. But with that being said, if the amazing race called me <laughs> and said, would you like to do the show? I would have a hard time saying no. Like, I mean, that's pretty much the only other show like I would want to do. Cause I think that's just amazing. Again, I'm competitive traveling the world. like, hello, that sounds amazing. No, um, yeah. I, I don't know. No, yeah. Cause the amazing race is like, a, that's a dope show. I would love to be a part of that. Even Survivor. Yeah. I don't think I would last in Survivor that long, but it would be, I just would want to try it. I don't know how they oh my do God, it. I could not do Survivor. <laughs> I, I can't handle being cold. Like I hate being cold. I'm the worst person when I'm cold. <laughs> they're like you out there for 40 days i was like uh i don't think i could do I, three yeah. uh, no, no that's good. Actually, i could not and i like smelling good and being clean and having my own space <laughs> and sleeping with blankets and pillows i'm a princess in that way like absolutely not you won't catch me on survivor <laughs> no that's i always I, you were just speaking of like because you're trying you want to transition to really fully acting like i yeah. always wonder like why has it always been hard for like reality tv show to like just like if you're good at acting you should just be able to be like okay cool you can do the role 
da, yeah. da, da. you know what I'm saying like musicians can go act uh co- comedians could go act like I always wonder like why is that like a certain persona about like if you're good at acting you should be able to just go and act but like well, what what if- like with acting and like just how it works and being an actor it's just very hard to get cast in certain parts because it's like once you're a reality tv person or you've been on reality tv like they know who you are they know your personality they know how you move how you think how you act when you're an actor you're thrown into different roles and playing different characters and i don't know i don't really know why some directors won't work with reality tv people but once you're on reality tv you have to work like 10 times harder to be considered a serious actor even though like i work hard on my craft i'm in debt because of my craft (laughs) like you know i I love acting. It's just pretty much what I feel like I was born to do. But for some reason, I mean, God led me to Love Island and again to the challenge. So there's a purpose and a reason for everything. So I'm not going to go against that. But I also know that like at some point I have to say, no, I don't really want to do any more reality TV. I'm going to be focusing on my acting, but I can't, I can't ever say I'll never do this because I said that after Love Island and then y'all gonna see me on a challenge, like hanging from buildings and shit. Like, you know, you just, you can never predict what life is going to bring you, but I really am manifesting just acting. I don't know what. Yeah. Uh, do you like interested in do like screenwriting and producing as well? Again, never say never. Right now my focus is acting. So. Okay. So how do you like see yourself like breaking into the industry? You don't really break into the industry you get a role and it's either your big break or it's not and then you keep auditioning until you hit that moment I don't think you can as an actor predict what your big break is going to be as a person you can't predict what job is going to be that job or what person is going to be your person or what moment is going to be the moment you know I don't really think in those terms I just kind of live my life and whatever happens happens yeah kind of I hear like a whole bunch of like actors like they'll try out for like 10,000 auditions and get like maybe like one or two phone calls whatever so like how do you like keep keep being like motivated to like all right I'm gonna keep going I just keep going because like certain people would be like I'm done with this like what keeps you motivated to keep going out I think when you're passionate about something you just keep doing it like I think passions are you can't live without that certain thing so that's what's going to keep everyone going it's like why you continue to podcast why people continue to skateboard even though they broke eight eight bones in their body you know you just do what you love that's really all there is to it you know that's good um what can we expect for you next you know as i say i just do me and if it, <laughs> does, and if it doesn't then try something else um really it's just i'm just gonna do me and y'all know that i want to get into acting so you can expect that i have a lot of little projects coming up but my goal in this life is i know that i'm meant to have a really big life and i know i'm meant to have like an impact in this world and people are shaking now that I was on Love Island, right? And like, you know, I did have a really good experience on there and I had a really amazing support system after the show. But to me, that's like mini school on the ladder of everything I want to achieve in my life. So yeah, I'm going to get to a point where you can't go anywhere without hearing Cash I Pop It. And that's yeah. just, that's my That's goal. all I hear. That's, that's, you know? Yeah, yes, I'm here for it. I'm glad. Hell yeah. Oh. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, um, before you leave, I, I like a lot of fans message me. Just want to like, can you say something to them because they really love you. Like your fans really like die hard cachet. Like, what should I say? Like, I don't know. This is, I don't know if you just want to say something to them. Like a lot of people are like, can you just tell her I love her? Like you know. What I'm oh, <laughs> that's so cute. You know, they know where where it's at. They know the supporters. Like we be cutting it up in my DMs. Like I love them. They love me. Like I just think. I obviously wouldn't be where I am today without the support of people. I probably wouldn't have gotten over my breakup if it wasn't for the support of, you know, the supporters. I wouldn't be as happy as I am today without the support of them. So they know what it is. I let them know every day. (laughs) Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. I wish the best for lucky. I'm rooting for you. But yeah. Thank you. Have a good day.